see. This part, like I said, I don't think the camera is doing it justice, but it's just so bright and shiny from that stuff growing on the ceiling. Yeah, look at this. I don't encourage this at all, but look at these. People have been writing their names. 1986, 1987, 1988. So look in the 1980s, a lot of people came through here just to write their name. So that's why they make you do that in uh, elementary school. So you get it out of your system. Don't have to have the urge to do it when you're in. So look at this. I'm up on top here. It's like 15 feet down. So the short answer is I can't go any farther. Well, much farther. But I could probably climb under here. Yeah, see this is obviously a dead end to the right. I think I might be able to fit down here. At this point, I don't remember if I went this way last time or not. Yeah, considering how easy it looks, I guess I will go this way. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna have to climb down over these small rocks. technically made it through oops darn it I, I tried to push the button once I accidentally pushed it twice so I did the opposite of what I was trying to do Arg. I came back this way last time or not. But it's kind of cool back here. Oh, huh. for some reason I was expecting to go under there. But yeah, fascinating. Just a little bit. And I'll go up here. Wow. So here, notice the cave is nice and wide. A couple dozen feet wide. Ceiling's only like 10 feet high. It's because it's so broken down and uneven. I'm walking across breakdown rock right now. Makes it a little more adventurous. Definitely slows me down because I have to watch my feet. But here, look ahead. I'm almost to the end of the breakdown. Then the floor gets really, really flat. 
there's a lot of puddles in the um, sand, gravel, whatever you call it. Notice the color changes here. I don't know if the camera's doing it justice. Let me see here. So over here on the left, it's gray, and then on the right, it's brown. You know, I went on a ferry ride, or a boat ride in the Willamette River, Columbia River. Where they came together, you could see one is definitely a different shade of green than the other. I forgot to have my camera ready. I didn't get a video of that. That would have been kind of cool video. Same thing here. But yeah, all these pock marks are from uh, water dripping from the ceiling. Water drops. Man, sometimes this silver stuff on the ceiling, it glows so bright, it looks like there's a light ahead. But it's just my own reflection, my flashlight's reflection. See, here's another place where it obviously looks like water was actually flowing, like it's a stream bed, very small stream bed. But yeah, look at the size of those pock marks. Hopefully my camera is doing that justice. I think it's about time for me to fl switch flashlights again. I have six flashlights, but I want to make sure I have plenty of flashlight left when I get to the actual lake. See, this is where it gets tricky because the ceiling or the floor is solid rock, but look at that. It's like a drop off here. So I have to be careful not to slip down there. Coming back the other way is even more fun. So now I get to decide, do I get to play John, Geron Geronimo on the right or try to climb along the edge to the left? Either one's a little bit tricky, but I don't want to drop down. So I do have to be able to come back this way. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get through here to the left. Oh, look how there's a hole there. I think I checked it out last time, but I forgot. I'm going to go check it again. Notice how round and uneven the rock is here. Oh, cool, there's a way back here. I didn't even remember that. I probably went this way last time then. It's actually easier. Huh. All right, then. Yeah. yeah, see this cave is not really a maze. Like I could get lost. Unless I went without a flashlight, obviously. But it's just all these different choices to go left, go right, go high, go low. But usually one way is a lot easier than the others. Notice I could go up here. I think that's the way I went back. Or I could climb back through there. Whatever makes sense. What's well, weird, let me go over here and pan up a bit. So you notice how the floor, there's like a cliff here. But the ceiling does the same thing. So the cave gets smaller because both the ceiling and the floor get closer together. Heavy, huh? So here I am at the top again. I need to go ahead. Obviously I could go over the top or I could go to the right. 